Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I wanted to come on here and talk about this really disturbing story that's coming out of Chicago. It happened the day after Christmas. So what's going on is that we have a 19 year old young man. His name is Quintario Legrier. And basically he was wilding out on his father, going off on him. And he picked up a metal bat and he threatened to hit his father with it. The mother saying that her son had mental illness. They decided to call the police and the police got there. And instead of trying to figure out what the situation was, instead of trying to calm this young man down, the police decided to open fire they not only shot this young man seven times where he eventually died at the hospital but they also shot his neighbor by accident a 51 year old woman named bd jones who had absolutely nothing to do with the situation when i tell you this story is just so heartbreaking it just it makes no sense what the police are out here doing i want you guys to go ahead and check out these news clips and i'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary cries of anger in chicago i want my cousin's death avenged you killed her in cold blood. After 19-year-old Quintonio Legrier and 55-year-old Betty Jones were fatally shot by police early Saturday morning. Police say they were responding to a domestic disturbance when they encountered a combative subject. But Legrier's mother told local media she thought her son would be taken to hospital for mental issues after he had reportedly threatened his father with a baseball bat. Instead, he was shot seven times, she says. Seven. That's a bit much. Eight shots was 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 fired. One hit an innocent lady that was just opening her door. Something is wrong with this picture. Something is wrong. Something needs to be done. The other shooting victim, Jones, was a mother of five and lived in the same apartment building. The incident is now being investigated by the Independent Police Review Authority. Son had just calls and being angry with his father because that's the type of behavior he had, but he never had combative behavior. And to be disrespected after you and took my son's life, that broke my heart. Last night I could not sleep because I heard that because I know my loving child. My child ran a marathon last year for a charity. Honorable student. It hurts me all over and just know that the family's going through this 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 tragic danger thing that's going on. Police shooting without asking. Why you got to shoot first and ask questions later? It's ridiculous. You all somebody need to do something about this. This is ridiculous. What about the taser? Taser him down. Don't start shooting people, innocent people. I want the mayor to understand that this is a message to you. You failed us before, but now it's your time to step up or step down. While I'm tempted to feel hate for all Chicago police officers right now, um, I know that's, this is a time where a difficult time we got to get past in our city. I think we got to show the police officers and the family a lot of compassion. Um, this is not the time for hatred in our city. It's not the time for, for violence. Um, right now is the time for compassion towards the suffering of families that are ex experiencing injustices throughout our city. As a man in this community. You guys just watched that disturbing news clip. And before I go on, I want to let you guys know that I'm shooting this on my brand new 4K camera. So if it looks, you know, a lot more high depth, this is why. Um, but I want to get back to the story. This story is just extremely disturbing. You know, while I don't agree with everything that Black Lives Matter talks about, I have to agree with this entire situation here that this is definitely a Black Lives Matter issue. And this definitely deserves protest. It's sad that whenever black people call the police, for help when they need help it's like the police are always so quick to respond with gunfire as opposed to trying to calm down the situation you know this man didn't this young man did not have a gun he didn't have a knife on him he had a bat so for the police officers to basically take deadly force it makes no sense it makes me think what kind of tactical training are these people getting it's like our police force has been so militarized it's almost like a lot of these police officers no longer know how to balance just a normal situation just a regular top down it's like they have to go from 
from one extreme to another. And the fact that this innocent mother of five lost her life is just really, really sad. I mean, the whole situation could have easily been prevented. Like I said before, there's a lot of mental illness in the black community that definitely needs to be addressed. We need to stop playing around with it and stop sweeping it under the rug. This young man definitely needed some type of treatment and mental health issue. He did not need to be murdered by the police. And it's just really, really sad that it ended up like this. Another thing that bothers me, like I've said in previous videos, I'm to the point where I feel like many in our community need to stop calling the police for help. It seems like once the police get involved, things tend to escalate a lot faster once the police get involved. I feel like a lot of these situations we can handle on our own as family. You know what I'm saying? Even if he was out of control and threatening his father and things like that, I feel like more family members should have been there to try and come and calm the situation down, get the bat away from the young man. We need to start coming together as family and start having each other's back and start trying to help out those family members that we know are in trouble that are going through things. I think it's a lot better if we call on our own and ask our own to help us, you know, defuse situations as opposed to running to the police because things like this are just happening more and more and it's just getting really, really disheartening. When you have a 19-year-old boy who loses his life after Christmas because he's having a manic episode and then you have an innocent mother also losing her life, you know, being taken away from her children, you know, how do you justify this? And a lot of people are demanding that Rahm Emanuel apologize, but to me, even if he apologizes, it's not going to bring back these two people. You know, at the end of the day, these police officers, they need better training. They need to be vetted because it seems like a lot of nutcases are now joining the police force. You know, there needs to be a strong mental evaluation. It's funny that all these so-called accidents always tend to happen when it comes to black people. You don't never really have situations like this when it comes to people of other races. So this entire situation is just extremely, extremely disturbing. I want to go ahead and get the discussion popping. I want to know your opinions on this situation. What do you think should happen? Um, Jesse Jackson is down there. Reverend Al Sharpton is down there. This is definitely making big news, you know, but what do you guys think should come of this situation? And what do you think the city of Chicago can do? Because now they're back in hot water with the citizens. Just a few weeks ago, we had the whole Laquan McDaniel situation. And now we had this situation with this young man. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.